record it? Here, so you can show them. So as soon as it's up, and I think because I have a roof rack, it won't, the front end won't come up, no matter what. It's just too much weight. And it's an empty roof rack, so I don't know how that's the case, but. <clears throat> and I can go up higher, but it's sketchier the higher up you go. But if they just had a bracket that would pinch between this frame and, let me widen it out, between here and the actual roof. See what happens when I grab it? The whole thing gets level. And then I don't stress about it falling, tipping down so that I can put the support rods in. All they would need is a bracket that went like this and here and pinch it together. Temporary, it's just metal to bend like this. And as soon as you get out, get pulled out of the way, you can put the support beams in and it wouldn't have no problem. Literally, I'm gonna use a friggin' a wood. So watch as I just tighten it. It's not gonna grip very good because it's up, but that would all it need to do would be to hold it in place. So as you pull it away, it's just more rigid. I mean, this isn't gonna work because it would have to go into that groove and be perfect. That's not bad back there, but if this went in like that, it'd be money. Two of them, maybe. Because now when I pull it out, I can actually put the support beams in after it's away from the Jeep. But as of right now, if I pull away, this entire thing tries to fall forward. Literally the roof, the, the, the beams of the Jeep are holding it up. So if I let it go, this whole thing's gonna fall forward. What's nuts is all the weight is in the back. It doesn't make any sense. It's such a shitty design flaw. Or if they made the support beams come through up here instead of here. 